Walk us through one where a customer came to you with a specific challenge. Yeah. T tell us about the solution that you provided. Yeah. And then what exactly was the ROI and benefit? Gotcha. So uh, this is a this is a bit of a tragic story that has a really good outcome in my opinion. Okay. So it's a it's a large automotive manufacturer came to us with a huge problem. So if you think about the outside of the dock where the trailer is positioning on the dock approach, uh, and we have a product that's called a trailer stand. So a trailer okay. stand, I got to go back in time here a bit to talk about trailer collapse prevention before okay. I tell the rest of this story. Trailer collapse prevention is when the trailer is positioned at the loading dock, the tractor decouples from that, goes on to do other right. things, and the trailer is now uh, left spotted there and they do their loading and unloading. Yeah. The risk is that there are two, what we call landing gear, the two yes. legs at the front of the trailer, right? Yep. Uh, and sometimes those aren't well maintained. So what can happen is as the forklift is coming in and out, the, the load is moving and one leg could fail Wow. and now the trailer comes crashing down to one side or the other. That's the biggest risk. There are right. other risks, but that's the major one. So the solution that came about, I'm going to say about 20 years ago, was to position something else under the nose. We've refined that and created a whole trailer stand category of okay. products that you can wheel, place, and push into place underneath the trailer. Wow. And it yeah. gives you that secondary support so that when the trailer is moving, it's not going to collapse. So that's the category of product that we have. And users around the world have adopted this type of technology to do this. And I can and, see why. Yeah. I mean, that's that's a pretty big safety component. It's not something that I ever really thought about, right. but now you're talking about it. I mean, all of that movement yeah. and that big of a risk for somebody to be taking going in and out of that container, I mean, yeah. that's a lot. So we've got a lot of people adopting that technology, okay. and uh, including this company that came to us. They're placing trailer stands manually, and they've bought into that program. Their facilities are safe. The accident and the tragedy that happened is a worker was out positioning trailer stands in the dock approach and was struck by a shunt truck or a yard jockey okay. uh, trying to anchor to a trailer. Okay. And unfortunately, it was a fatality. And um, I mean, that's a, that's a horrible, horrible situation. Mm -hmm. I can't even imagine it. Not only for the for the worker and their families, yeah. but the, the facility, all the people that were working there yeah. that day. And then you think about the business ramifications of that, the costs associated with that. Right. It's, it's something you never want to happen. And it's unfortunate that it happened. This company said, we have no choice. We have to lock down the dock approach. So no more people are going out to the dock approach. Right. So the great thing is, is that is going to prevent that tragedy from happening. The problem, however, is now they don't have anybody that can place the trailer stands right. in place. So you're you're fixing one situation and creating another. So uh, so they came to us and said, hey, you know, can you help us? You guys are the pros at this. Right. And let us. Uh, so our R and D team went to uh, went to town um, and tried a, several different designs. They came up with one key product called the shuntable trailer stand. And what this is, it's a large trailer stand device that sits in the dockyard. And the, the, after the yard jockey places the trailer, it goes out yeah. and picks the shuntable trailer stand up and drives it underneath the, the trailer. So nobody has to get out of the cab. No okay. people are in That's harm's good. way. Yep. We've called that our no boots on the ground solution. Okay. And then we've taken that one step further with this company and designed what we call our ground mounted trailer restraint. Okay. So this is installed at the nose of the trailer in the ground. Once the trailer has backed in and is in position, automatically from inside, either with a push button or as part of the sequence of operations, yep. these two arms come up and rise up to meet the underside of the trailer okay. and completely support it. Yeah, I can see So that. it's a great automated way and yeah. again, a no boots on the ground way to do it. Right. Plus, it plays into something else which is becoming more and more uh, a factor which is the automated dock right. and automated loading. Yep. So yep. it's all ready for that kind of situation for those companies that adopt it. So I guess the ROI and the benefit from that kind of situation is obviously to prevent that from happening again, Yes. but also to empower your employees and let them know that you're thinking about their safety as well. And totally. I'm sure it's probably made things a little bit more efficient, so they're probably even saving some time and some money as well. That's a great point. There is actual financial ROI beyond yeah. that human component, which is it takes less time just to, to make a trailer state safe right. for, for loading and unloading now. Yeah. Whereas they, you know, a person would either have to come out of the yard jockey, place yeah. the trailer stand, go back in, or come from the building and, yeah. and do all that. So, yeah, uh, yeah thank you're right. you for sharing that. Thank you, you for sharing that. I mean, 
it's an example that we can all learn from and it also shows why safety is so important in this industry sure. because again i go back to what i said at the beginning is that people are the most important part of our logistics and supply chain industry and we do need to protect them so if the audience wants to learn more about what you do at Ideal Warehouse Innovations. Yes. Give us the website and tell them how they can get in touch. Awesome, thank you. Idealwarehouse.com, very simple. There you'll find all our contact information and how to get in touch with us. Great, well as you can see, safety is so important for the people that are working in the logistics and supply chain industry and Ideal Warehouse Innovations is taking it to a whole nother level and making sure we're all safe within our warehousing locations, out on the dock, outside of the dock, and so, so much more. So I hope that you go and check out their website, idealwarehouse.com. Dirk, thank you so much, and to your team for coming on the show today. Thank you, Sarah, it's great to be here.